we didn't really fight, but mm. we had an argument though. That I was getting so much rude. We didn't fight. We argued. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, we just argued. But we didn't fight. <laughs> All right, so welcome back to yet another episode of Ground Up. And today we're going to have a special guest, Arx Playground, also known as Angelica. Sorry? Um, I didn't Asuncion. get Sunshine. Yeah, Sunshine, right? Yes. Uh, Anuba, how do you want us to address you? Anje, uh, Arx. You can call me uh, Anje or Jel. Jel? Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, nice, nice. Sir, the music is kind of loud. Oh, sure. You, cannot... you, you can. Um, Turn it down a bit. Sa ano, sa podcast. So you can just uh, right click yung CP1 marshmallow and then you can lower it down. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> good. I'm good. Good, good. All right, all right. Yes, pa. Okay, so you were saying uh, be, before we started the interview, or sorry, not interview, this conversation, mm-hmm. you, you said na you're feeling a little bit um, nervous. Nervous. <laughs> And uh, yeah. why so? Um, because we're gonna speak in English. And I'm not that, I'm not right, that comfortable right. in speaking in English mm. when it's live. Um, I can uh, talk in English when when I type it or mm, mm, when mm. I'm writing. Right, right. But speaking it. Speaking it like this, it's kind of awkward for me. Right. Also, yeah. ano siya, parang you feel like you're kind of exposed, right? This, this. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. This is the platform that it, this. I mean, this is the purpose of this platform is really to enhance our, you know, um, English skill or speaking skills rather. Um, <laughs> ito mga bagay na to. Kasi ako din, I for one, uh, I'm not really that. Sabi, like vocabulary, you know, those kind of stuff. Parang hindi ako ganun ka, ma, hindi ganun ka lawak yung vocabulary ko sa English and stuff. Mm-hmm. Although, uh, in hindsight, I've been uh, at in, an English teacher sa Chinese students before, but then, even mm-hmm. even, even then, diba, um, I, I'm still not yet that confident to uh, express myself through fluent English, pero I still try my best. So, Anyway, yeah. I'll just try to introduce myself first since this is kind of like the first or second time that we're gonna meet. So, yes. yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, again, my name is uh, Ian. You can call me Ian or Bossing, anything. Um, oh, you're, so you're P1 Bossing? Right, I'm P1 Bossing. Right. Uh, yeah. Right, so I'm one of nice the. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too. Um, I'm one of the admins who started this company, ng Player One Entertainment, and uh, I'm actually the multimedia specialist ng company I do most of the you know yung live before nice. the stream pro streamer level up program uh, that's currently yeah. still undergoing and um maraming bagay na kinokon I'm still really hyped I I I hope you are as well and uh, I mm-hmm. really wanted to grow as much as what you said sa bio which is I'm very yeah, which is let's do it. <laughs> really written well you said uh, a lot of things that I've been really interested in into so maybe we can talk about that a, a little bit later. But more to me, um, a short background. I just graduated a few two years ago sa University of Baguio as a mass mm-hmm. communication graduate. So yeah, even after that, That's I. That's why you're good in talking. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, not really good in talking. As I'd say, I'm I'm still trying to learn more about it. So yeah, uh, yun mga bagay na ganun. and um, ano pa ba? Yeah, I guess that's just pretty much it. You, the rest of my profile, you can just check it out on uh, social media. You know, everyone's already almost exposed to uh, social media. You can just visit Instagram. You know, you can just listen to yeah. my music and stuff like that. So, yeah, those kind of I stuff. I already so, followed you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, let's get to know more about you. Um, your background, something that you're working on, you know. Mm. Okay, I'm Angelica Asuncion, and I just graduated last year wow. from uh, St. Paul University, Philippines. Um, I took up PS Pharmacy, mm. and cool. uh, now I'm working in the Department of Health, Cagayan Valley, as a pharmacy assistant because I haven't yet to, 
uh, took the board exam, so I don't have the license yet. So I'm working as a pharmacy assistant for now, and I'm planning to take up the board exam maybe um, next year or whenever I have the uh, time, because for now uh, I'm really thankful that I have a job, and um, also streaming is like um, a pastime or a hobby for me. And um, I, I really love uh, spending time. It's, it's like uh, my therapy, you know, playing games with my friends. Wow, therapy. You know, when I'm, yes, when I'm stressed from work, when I'm tired, it's like, you know, I'm energized when I play games with my friends. Games with my friends. Interesting. It's, it's yeah. very interesting that you said that uh, you're... Um, you feel like you're de-stressing, you feel like you're more enjoying and relaxed, as you would say. Um, but more to it, how can, can you explain to us why did you enter the, you know, the male-dominated scene of gaming and um, how did you find the journey of streaming or gaming in your sense? Because uh, you said in your bio you, were, you started gaming uh, at a very young age, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. How did... Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. You, you were saying. Uh, okay, um, I started uh, playing games when I was very young, and I couldn't remember all. I couldn't remember all the games, but yeah, I don't have all the uh, game per peripherals like yeah, PlayStation. I don't have all that. I'm just borrowing from my uh, friends or uh, relatives and. I started loving it and I started getting addicted to it that my family didn't find so uh, good. They were scolding me for that. They were not so supportive about it but uh, time goes by, uh, they accepted it. They, they're good with it now and I'm very thankful uh, now that I'm streaming they're also uh, very supportive of, about it. And I'm so thankful. Wow. And um, I, I started uh, streaming because playing games because I li I really love the feeling when I play with friends, uh, especially when um, we're really having fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably the first PC game that I learned was Gaia Online. It was an RPG online game. Gaia Online. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Sounds like and, interesting. <laughs> and it's not but it's now dead. It's not dead. It's Oh, so okay. Bad. So I I am yeah. guessing it's kinda like uh that baby run Ragnarok kind of thing. Yes, yes, right, yes. Right, right, right. Yes, yeah, you're right. Uh the second game the PC uh game I learned was League of Legends. I learned it wow. from my friend Played League. and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I learned it from my friend and we used to go to computer shop and oh, spend a lot of money and we right. get fun to get on like that. Oh. And yeah, I also experienced those things when I was in college and every after exam we go there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to play games and uh, it's so surprising because there's a lot of boys there and I'm the only girl playing League of Legends, so it's so funny. And yeah, that's how I started uh, really pursuing uh, streaming because mm -hmm. now I want to play games and also stream and uh, meet a lot of people, play with them, play with them, right. build a community. Yeah. And how how? Did that go for you so far? Like, uh, do you feel like frustrated? Do you feel stressed about it, or do you? So, feel... I see. Yeah, That's cool. Um, it, um, it's very overwhelming for me, mm -hmm. especially for those people that stranger strangers mm -hmm. that are supporting me. Right. And I'm really grateful for them, and I've I've also uh, met a lot of uh, good people. I haven't experienced anything toxic from my streaming um, career, but in game I experienced something toxic. Okay, that's to the, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> to the point that I was really crying, like wow. playing. I was playing and I was crying because I was so frustrated. Because sorry, I what what game was it? 
I'm guessing it's it League was, of Legends. No, it was Valorant. Oh, okay. I was I was playing Unrated with my friend and they were so serious that they started trash talking me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they were they were boys and they knew that I am a girl. And mm-hmm. I don't know. That's just. Was uh, this uh, sorry for context? Uh, is this a full party or this? Are you playing with some uh, friends and a random queue? I, no. Yeah, I was playing with uh, my friend, one friend. Oh, okay, mostly, okay. So we're, we're like duo. Oh, okay. And, yeah, some of our uh, teammates are shocking me. Mm. Yeah, that's, mm. uh, that's, that's and you're quite new to the game, I'm guessing at that yeah. point in time, right? Right. Yeah. How did you how did you handle that? How do, how did you you know try um, to react to that? How did you feel? I felt really frustrated that I started crying mm-hmm. and I didn't mind them. I muted them. Actually. Mm. But step number uh, 1, right? I muted them. Right. And then um yeah, the until I have, I'm having kills. I'm getting kills. Mm-hmm. But but then I'm still caught fragging. Mm-hmm. And we, we ended up winning the game though. But you know. Wow, I feel huge props. Very, yeah, I, I just really felt bad that time. That, yeah. Yeah, that, it was very toxic. Okay, so let's get back into that. So let's talk about more about the game Valorant since it's the mo- most, I don't know, um, popular game as of the moment, I'd say. Because there's a lot of games that coming and emerging out of nowhere. But, you know, um, let's talk about Valorant and how has it brought an interest in your side? Because you said uh, you started from... Was it, what was it? Right, League of Legends. And uh, yeah. from there, you tried an FPS and then you got a duo partner, you would say. Was this uh, a partner partner or is this just a random friend? Partner partner. Oh, right, right, right. That's cool. Actually, that's very interesting because I, I, I feel the same sentiment, I'm guessing, because uh, I, I play with my girlfriend too. And um, there is this kind of uh, dynamic that you're trying to play or portray in the game. So when you're inside the game, you're trying to be more caring be more i don't know feel like you can still do romantic things inside the game <laughs> even though you're just yeah. playing the game right so uh, in a way it's kind of like there is a this since there's a kind of a realm to the game that feels uh, or brings about toxic nature of human beings um, have you ever felt that feeling about like you're getting uh, a slight toxic response from your partner or have you had any fights with your partner, I guess, that uh, has been really significant uh, for the past few days? I don't know, something. Uh, fights about, game, about the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe I, you fought about it or something like you didn't perform, we did, something. We didn't really fight, but mm-hmm. we had an argument though that I was getting so... So much rude. We didn't fight, we argued. <laughs> 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 right? Yeah, we just are good. I mean, they didn't fight. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, we didn't really have um, uh, fighting. It wasn't really that serious that fight? serious, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't that serious. But I, I, there was a time that I got so annoyed. Mm. I was sage, and he was asking for heal, and didn't heal him the mm. whole time, the whole game. <laughs> I'm yeah. yeah, that's also one of the issues that we've been dealing with for the past few months too. When, when you're trying to balance out your, you, you know, you don't want to be biased within your teammates and who's fragging and who's not, right? So, yeah. at the same time, you wanted to provide that kind of um, bias with your partner. So, uh, for some reason, when you do those kind of things and you, I don't know, kind of quote unquote, fuck up, um, you feel like you. you you're not really doing good and you blame most of it to yourself right so it's not really their fault it's just more of like how you think about yourself and how you perform and how you wanted to overcompensate about things that you wanted to be good at and um yeah that's one of the sentiments i feel too when i play the game so when i say this i i feel like when i whenever i'm playing the game i feel like ito na nga lang yung magaling ako like can you just give it Give, give this to me you know like that kind of feeling yeah. that um, I, I suck at most things in life but at least I, I, I could be good at one thing please like 
you're already at that point. But then I realized that no, I'm not really that. I I don't really suck at life, you know. Uh, life is just really hard by by itself. So, hey, Shalom. Sorry, just a quick shout out to Invoxus. Shalom, Shalom. We're just having a quick conversation with Arex. I'll just catch you up. Um, she's uh, one of our streamers. She's located in Cagayan. Sorry, was it right? Yeah. Right, and uh, she's a pharmacist, and uh, she plays League of Legends too, and Valorant as of the same time. So, yeah, you can ask questions if you're interested. Um, just hit up our comment section for that. So anyway, let's go back to the topic. Uh, you were saying more about um, having to experience toxic um, kind of environment within the game, yeah. but not on stream. But you haven't encountered anything that is on stream that is toxic, right? Yes. Because yes, that's correct. very lucky. I would say that the, the, it's a high chance that you would have encountered one, at least one, right? So, yeah. I don't remember anything. <laughs> that's cool. Because... Uh, the the thing about streaming is that when you're trying to you know entertain your your viewers your fans or your friends is that you're trying to play a a certain role that you can't be you know doing anything that is unnatural let's say something that you would rage to right because you're exposed right but when you're off stream you can just you know do everything that you wanted to do you can say ed everything you could curse and everything like that because yeah. you're not really doing any yeah. role right so have you have you tried this kind of like i don't know syndrome or something uh I, i've experienced it when mm -hmm. i was streaming so wow. yeah how did that I work out off, i turned off my camera mm. and i started not Good talking move. <laughs> right <laughs> that's yeah. that's, that's uh, actually a good way to play it right so uh a few minutes ago you were talking about you were getting trash talked about uh, some random players in the game and you were and you were with your partner and um we're trying to as a, uh, a few hours ago i guess or a few days ago i had encountered uh, a specific game too that uh, has resonated with the same sentiment or the same exact scenario but the thing is uh, this was a full party, and um, mind you, everyone here, uh, every everyone in that lobby. I mean, me and my friends, and everyone was um, knows each other, right? So, with that in mind, you would have think that you would be more like empathetic, comfortable. right? Comfor comfortable, yeah. empathetic, or like you wouldn't be more toxic to them because like they're friends. Yes. You you don't yes. want to have a, you you don't want to be called something like. Yeah, um, toxic, like right? Jerk. Or aggressive, I or am. a jerk, right? Exactly. So, but there was just this specific instance that um, it just triggered everyone else. So, we had this one guy, and uh, he was really, um, really serious about the game. Like everyone should be serious about the game because it's a competitive rank, right? But then um, we're trying to climb the ladder, and we're and we're trying to like execute some plans at the same time. But then you always have that kind of like one dude who's or one dude or a girl, you know, I don't want to be gender biased on this game, but or any any part of any of any game. So anyway, um, more to it, like he just kind of raged on my teammates and then I got tilted off. Everyone got tilted off because like uh, he's he's the one to blame everyone and he doesn't see he or she doesn't see um more of his mistakes than others you know he just sees more about the mistakes of others and himself and it's just it's really not fun to play the game when you're trying to mm -hmm. really climb the ladder and trying to focus in the game but instead of focusing in the game you're focusing on what your friend's saying to you right the bad things yeah. that he's trying to say you, to you so and um even so we talked about this in private and then uh, we just i just got a, a very huge lesson about it and then I, I just wanted to share to you what mm -hmm. that um whenever you encounter those kind of like scenarios that you have friends and then they're just being i don't know assholes or jerks as you said um mm -hmm. you don't really have to you know befriend them or unfriend them right you you just need to like talk to them and just let them explain or explain yourself like okay dude i'm hurt or um, mm -hmm. Can you just try to understand myself too? Because I'm not really that good in the game. I'm just trying to learn more about the game. And maybe you can help me if you try to lessen the uh, negative comments, let's say. Because let's be honest, right? So everyone loves the game, right? Everyone enjoys playing Val Valorant. But 
whenever you encounter this kind of toxicity in the game, you feel like you're burning out, right? I don't know if you've tried to yeah. Yeah, burn out or something, but yeah. Have you experienced anything about burning yeah, out or I, I, with work I, or I games? Guess- Actually, we have the similar uh, scenario, mm-hmm. but it's not me; it's my friend. Mm. So we're we're five men mm-hmm. in full Valorant, party, right? And, yeah, and um, my friend is always blaming my other friend, which is not which is he's not always playing Valorant, so he's mm-hmm. not that good, right? So he's always blaming him to the point that my friend is. Uh, already quiet. He's not. Or he's not talking anymore. And he said that he uninstalled the game. Because wow. The game. Yeah. <laughs> and I was so sad about that. So I messaged him that I uh, don't mind my other friend. Right. Because right. He's, he's just um he's being toxic. I know, but maybe he's so having a bad day. Something. Right. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. And um, yeah, we we let them talk to each other, and mm. finally he installed uh, he installed the game again, wow. and we played the game. <laughs> well, that well But, that's really good, right? Because like there yeah. was a full circle. Like, yeah, and I think it's just normal with friends. But don't let it uh, break your friendship when right, uh, right. whenever you guys play. Uh, it's normal that we get frustrated in game, and um, it's normal that we say some bad things. But don't let it get yeah. into you, right? Uh, don't let it, uh, you know. Don't let don't, it, don't let, let uh, it tilt you or something like affect you yeah, more, right? 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 Yeah, affect you. Yeah, correct. Exactly. Uh, just. Think that it's just a game and won't hurt anyone. Exactly. One, because you're with friends. Right. Exactly. So you you must be yeah. you must feel as you said more comfortable with friends and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Right? That's cool. Yeah. Right. We should be sport together. <laughs> right. Right. Sports. Uh, playing. Being sporty. I should say is um one of the key factors of being a. Uh, player, I'd say, right. So it's still a sport, you know. Esport is still considered a sport, right? Uh, yeah. But that's one thing that a lot of you know uh, our old folks <laughs> wouldn't really understand more about it. So they would think about computer games as just an addiction or a form of an escape, you know. But um, to us, it's a sport. You can, you know, you, you're still developing a hand-eye coordination. You could still practice your mental state you know th- those kind of stuff which is really inter- um important too i would say